like I said I would. Um, should we do the CIA article first? A viral video showing the Dalai Lama asking about the suck his tongue has stunned the global Tibetan community. Many believe the video is being widely misinterpreted and are concerned the CCP propagandists are misusing it to discredit the exiled leader. On Monday, the Dalai Lama office issued an apology in the form of a meeting greet. Uh, issued an apology for the video of a meeting greet in February in the northern uh, Indian city of Dharamshala, where Tibet's highest spiritual leader has been running an independent government in exile since 1959. In the video, the Dalai Lama is approached by a boy whose identity is not known for a hug. The exile leader hugs him and asks the child to kiss him on the cheek. After that, the Dalai Lama pointed to his lips and said, Here also. Then the boys uh, held the boy's chin and kissed him on the lips. The Dalai Lama then said, Suck my tongue and stuck his tongue out. In Tibet, sticking the tongue is a traditional greeting. We already knew this, by the way. Uh, uh, that goes back to the ninth century. The crowd burst out laughing, and the Dalai Lama hugged the child again and spoke about peace. It is unclear why the video has gone viral now. Huh. Is, is, that, is that unclear? Wait, is it, is it also asking to, to suck your tongue? Is that also a part of... Is that also a part of the traditional Tibetan greeting? Because it didn't seem like it. And for those who have said already, again, that, uh, you know, the Dalai Lama doesn't speak English that good, you're out of your fucking mind. Okay? You're out of your fucking mind, dude. This is one of the most, like, Western-facing... Bro, we've watched interviews that the Dalai Lama has given, okay, to John Oliver where he's spitting, okay? We know he can speak English really well. Here, here he is speaking fucking English. It is very, very sad. Indeed, yes. Why is it hard for you to definitively tell them to stop doing it? This is, I find, a very difficult sort of situation. The right from the beginning, when I first heard that, firstly, I expressed my sort of uh, sadness. Then, meantime, if I say that their action is wrong, then their family, they will, uh, they feel very sad. One of their family member did something against the Dalai wish. Right. That's crazy, man. It seems like he's very, very good. Okay. He seems to be, he seems to be, you know, he seems to be speaking English very well. What's that about, you think? What's that about, you think? What's going on there? It seems like he, uh, you know... That's his body double? Oh, okay. Got it. Serenki, a U.S.-based Tibetan journalist, told Vice News World that the Dalai Lama has been a CCP target for the last 70 years. I still remember the great Christian spiritual leader, Desmond Tutu, visited the Dalai Lama in India, and they hugged and kissed like two pure kids. She said it was a beautiful display of love, uh, but some people with dirty minds interpreted it as something else back then, too. So um, the guy, this, this tweet, huh? Where is it? Sadly, everything in the modern Western world is too hypersexualized. The Dalai Lama jokingly made a kissing face to greet his friend Desmond Tutu. This is not the original photo. Ozzy human rights activist fighting totalitarian regime. Down with Putin and Xi follows me, by the way, of course. Uh, but this isn't the original of this. Wasn't even this guy. The original post came from a Radio Free Asia guy. Okay? That's right. Where's the OG one? I saw some videos on this. The mo he most likely meant eat my tongue. It's a Tibetan cultural thing. In their <laughs> culture, the child would respond with, why would I do that? And he'd respond, I've already given you everything I can. All I have left is to give you my flesh. That is not real. Okay? That is not your... The level of copium that we are... The level of copium that we are engaging in here is so fucking funny. Okay? It is so absolutely transparently ridiculous to just try and fucking defend this okay now let me tell you something 
Let me tell you something. Oh, here is the original post. Here it is from Radio Free Tibet. Of course, Radio Free America, uh, Tibet. Hmm. His Holiness Dalai Lama often teaches people he meets on innocent, playful way, even in public and before cameras. And then this guy basically repeated that uh, by by posting the same photo, but said that, you know, Western world is like hypersexualized everything. That's what it is. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, where's the state-funded media tag for this guy, by the way? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so, the other part of this uh, story, or the other part of this, like, idiotic fucking counter that uh, some people in the chat are trying to engage with, the reason why I think that's hilarious, okay, is because if that was the case, why in the ever-loving fuck... Oh, English is a second language, so sometimes his holiness uses words that make some people uncomfortable. However, it doesn't necessarily mean that he intends to be negative. Yeah, if that, if English is a second language and he fucked up and he used the wrong words, why didn't the Dalai Lama's own fucking PR team mention that? Why did they simply, why didn't they say any of these things and instead they just hid what the Dalai Lama did and literally went along with, oh, he just hugged the kid. Also, well, yeah, in his apology, it was an apology where they lied by omission, okay? And, and they didn't even say exactly what he did there. They were just like, oh, he just hugged a kid. Okay? Yeah, my thesis from the other day is on the money. He's lost impulse control from his advancing dementia and got too horny around a child because he's probably a pedo. Yeah. He says he was just having fun, so I think he's using some chatter's excuse that he didn't think the kid would actually be down to suck his tongue. His PR team assumed we already knew this niche common cultural custom exclusive to one guy, the Dalai Lama, and his reincarnations, of course. Anyway, another Tibetan living in India who spoke to Vice on the condition of anonymity out of fear of reprisal from those canceling the Dalai Lama online so that Tibetans often greet each other with their tongues out. It's been our traditional way of greeting. Dude, I love this article. This entire article is so fucking insane. <laughs> the statement doesn't further explain the comments the Dalai Lama made or his actions. I love this. I love this, dude. I, I fucking love this article. This is so long. Why is this so long? They had to went. They had to go to like every single fucking. They had to go to like every person that they could to be like, guys, I promise the the child tongue suck is just like a common Tibetan greeting. I prom do please. But maybe it was actually just a miscommunication. But maybe it was just like tongue sucking uh, and it's normal. Please, guys, please. Look, China is doing it. I promise. China actually did mind control on the Dalai Lama. On the Dalai Lama uh, about the tongue sucking thing. Please, please, please. I promise. Vice is so funny, dude. Where? Okay, where is the latest? You said the Vice put out another one? Tibetan explain, Tibetan is explain what suck my, this is the same person writing another article, suck my tongue means it's not what you think, dude, Vice is so awesome, bro, they keep fucking fighting this, they're like, no, 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 guys, you don't get it, you don't understand, we need to do like eight more articles on this, what do you have, are you forced at gunpoint, what is happening? I want you to go and suck the Dalai Lama's tongue. Okay? Only then I will be convinced. 
Like Vice used to be like, we did crocodile in the slums of Moscow. Vice. Like that's what they used to do. Now it's like, we sent our Radio Free Asia correspondent to suck the Dalai Lama's tongue. <laughs> It's like, guys, we sent this Brooklyn hipster to suck the Dalai Lama's to, to suck the Dalai Lama's tongue, dude. Oh, that's awesome. What's funnier is Vice is in the chat often. Yeah, man, they're a massive fucking media company. Obviously, the the the, the teenager running their social media account or the running their fucking Twitch account that comes in here and, and chats it up is completely unrelated to like one of the many different branches that they have as an international, um, the, as an international fucking news organization now. Okay. The viral video uh, showing the Dalai Lama asking a kid to suck his tongue has been the subsequent public outrage has led the hundreds of Tibetans to come out and tell the world it's not what it sounds like. Over the weekend, an edited video of February 28th interaction between the 87-year-old spiritual leader and an Indian boy went viral. Dude, you said uh, they're getting fed indirect fed money for this and you can't change my mind. You think this is when you realize that? I realized that when they did a fucking article on the genocide in Yemen and they said, maybe the Saudis have a good idea on how to deal with Yemen. Okay? Like, they literally did. They wrote a fucking article. They wrote a fucking... They made a documentary. They, they did, like, a documentary where they were like, you know, it's not so bad. I mean, they do have some... <laughs> the Saudis, with their dealings uh, with Yemen... Do have some good points. Maybe we should hand it to the Saudis. Hundreds of CIA assets stationed in Tibet come out and tell the world it's not what it sounds like. I mean, they're they don't even have that anymore. They gave up on Tibet pretty quickly. Um, which is why they I think declassified a lot of this stuff. So this is just like they're just running with like uh, you know, the the they're running with the bro dogs, you know what I mean? The those the 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 stay behind uh guys, you know what I mean? They're they're running with a fucking skeleton crew. They're not this is not like a like a major asset or a major uh major point for uh, uh the CIA's interest in in China. Can't really say vice to CIA when Gavin McGinnis, uh your best friend was a co-founder, really? First of all, uh, back when Gavin McGinnis was uh, uh, involved with Vice, they weren't, they were not bought by Rupert Murdoch yet. And secondly, I absolutely can. It literally would be more uh, in line. What do you mean? Who do you think the CIA works with more frequently? You think they work with fucking socialists, or do you think they work with like actual fascists, like out and about fascists? Uh, let me give you the answer. It's out and about fascists. For the record, if you didn't know the answer, newsflash: it's the other kind. Okay. Um, anyway, over the weekend, over the weekend, an edited video, an edited video of a February 28th interaction between the 87 year old spiritual leader and an Indian boy went viral. It wasn't edited. The bends across the world in distress and shock over the way their language and culture were misinterpreted. In the video, the boy is seeking, the boy is seen asking Dalai Lama for a hug, following which the leader blessed him, asked him to kiss him and stuck out his tongue saying, suck my tongue. People across the world are blaming the Nobel Peace Prize winning leader for behaving. Oh God. See, notice, he's the Nobel Peace Prize winning leader. The video is edited. These are like little ways in which you gear up for, uh, you know, gear up for exactly what you're about to say. They say, edited, meaning the whole stream wasn't uploaded. Yeah, that's a bullshit way to fucking mention it. Normally, colloquially, you would say edited video if it's deceptively edited, okay? This is a cowardly way to try and lie about the video to make it seem like it's like deceptively edited when it's not, okay? You could have said over, over the weekend, 
a a fucking shortened version of a longer video or something if you want to be deliberate. Every video technically is edited, okay? That's insane. It's to, exactly, thank you. It's to passively introduce doubt. Yeah, you could say a clip, okay? <sighs> anyway, but that is exactly what it is. It's to passively introduce doubt and skepticism, okay? You don't ever say edited as in the non-relevant parts before and after were removed. That's not how you use edited in that situation, okay? Anyway, to Ben's told Vice, <laughs> Vice World News that the meaning of this common expression used to tease and teach children is completely lost in cultural interpretation and its English translation. The correct phrase in Tibetan joke, uh, in joke, ah, in Tibetan for this joke is che le sa, which, runs the, which roughly translates to eat my tongue. English is a Dalai Lama's second language, and Indian news outlets have previously reported that the leader speaks broken English at public events. That's bullshit. He spits. I've heard him speak English perfectly fluidly. That's fucking bullshit. In 2000, Dalai Lama was quoted by the Indian Express as saying he started learning English at the age of 48. Broken English helps me communicate better and creates laughter when I make mistakes, he's quoted as saying. Why are they acting like videos of the Dalai Lama speaking perfect English does not exist in the universe? Why are we acting like, like you know, for the past 40 years, he's been literally speaking perfect English? In 2000, he said that. He was not 48 in the year 2000, chatters. He's like 88 years old. So if he learned English at the age of 48... That means he's been speaking English for 40 fucking years. The Dalai Lama has been speaking English for longer than I have. Multiple lifetimes uh, of, of chatters. Anyway. In a YouTube video, Jigme Ugen, a second-generation Tibetan refugee living in the U.S., explains how this display of affection was born out of a game played between the Tibetan elderly and children. Kids who go up to their grandfather, for instance, are asked to kiss their grandfather's forehead, touch their noses, and kiss them. Then the grandfather says, I've given you everything, so the only thing left is for you to eat my tongue, Ugen said. The child probably never gets the candy or money, but gets a beautiful lesson about life, love, and family. You know what's funny about this? Okay. You know what's funny about this? First of all, I wonder where this came from. This has like an old-timey feel to it. I wonder if this is actually like an old, uh, you know, piece of like forgotten Tibetan culture and custom, or if this is like a new graphic that they made, but to give it an old-timey feel, okay? I would love to see where this originally, uh, this, this originated from. But not only that, but also, why didn't they just mention this? Why did they just omit why did they lie by omitting the key details when they came out the next day to just apologize? Wait, this plaque actually makes reference to the... Oh my God. Oh no, they just made this. Why did they make it with this old timey feel? A key point missing. In Tibetan culture, it's common to see old grandparents not only pop a kid, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now eat my tongue. Not suck, as His Holiness misspoke due to his less proficient English. Bro. I'm sorry. But if, you're, if your operation to, like, whitewash, uh, you know child tongue sucking okay if you're if you if that's what you're trying to do if that could be like absolutely eviscerated by like three and a half seconds of like reading the actual details here it's over Saren Kia, a U.S.-based Tibetan journalist, told Vice World News that in Tibetan culture, sticking out the tongue is a sign of respect. Blah, blah, blah. We already covered all that. It's a sign of blessing. When a kid wants to hug an elderly man, the old man complies, then gives a kiss as a grandfather or father would and plays with the kid. 
Yeah, this this is so fucking stupid. The funny thing is that the more it's defended, the more fucking weird it is. Well, that's why this that's why CNN is not doing this. Yeah, why did they print it on a calorie mate bo uh, box? Yeah. I wonder why they use that very distinctive like old school ass font and color. Perhaps to make it seem as though perhaps to make it seem as though it's like actually a much older uh piece for for those of you or to at least like give you the feeling that it's like a super old newspaper clipping uh even though it weirdly enough features some information about what happened literally last fucking week they say as in i've given you all my love and the candy so that's all all that's left to do is eat my tongue and, the, and it is a playful thing that the children know this is not really done in the lahaza region capital of tibet so much but it's more common in the amdor region where hh is from however it is definitely a tibetan custom if we are honest with ourselves we know that when we form an opinion on any topic without considering the many aspects of context in any situation we are choosing to keep a significant degree of ignorance in our reasoning Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, no, this is great. No, 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 totally. Totally, totally, totally. If it's Tibetan custom, why have you only found one fucking guy or the voice of Tibet uh, say that it's Tibetan custom and you haven't found anyone else? or any other person saying it, or any other person doing it, or on top of that, even if it's fucking Tibetan custom, like, why is there no actual old video, you know, before this event, where it exists, and more importantly than that, why didn't the Dalai Lama's PR team say it? Why? Why didn't they just say that? Google Che La Sa. Let's see. Let's key search Che La Sa, but then let's look up, you know, news. And then let's, uh, you know, wait, how do you fucking open it? Sorted by relevance, sorted by date. No, not recent. Let's sort, let's do a custom. Let's do. Okay. So I did past year. Everything is like, you know, different. Um, custom range, let's do I mean, anything before like April 2023. Let's do March to, I don't fucking know, like 3, 31, 19, 19, 40. Google doesn't even register it as anything but fucking... It doesn't even register it. It thinks it's Italian. Come on now. There's got to be something in here. Nothing? No. It's just crazy. It's just wild. I don't know. I can't find anything other than literally like, <laughs> I love that they're doing, I love that they're, they're uh, circulating this at ifunny.co. Dude, it's obvious already. That's for deceiving the public. You're looking for anything. I am trying to cover my bases. I want to be objective. Okay. I want to be objective. Even if I find anything about this, okay? Even if I find anything about this that isn't from, like, the last week where apparently this became the most, like, uh, you know, the, the most top 100 basic Tibetan phrases known in Tibet. Doesn't, it has Che, but 
and it has law, but it doesn't have or, or lay, but it doesn't have chele sa. Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's what I'm trying to say. Even if this is actually a fucking custom that they are trying to fit into the circumstance, the PR team could have come out and said that. Do you understand? The custom is weird, right? It's a weird custom from our understanding. Okay? Our understanding. It's weird. But I'm no Western chauvinist and I'm no big city lawyer, right? But it seems like everything you're seeing is this old timey looking ass fucking thing. Will you pea brain low IQ statist apologize to the Dalai Lama? It doesn't seem to show anything. Celesa di scontori involuntari. I don't think this is, uh, you know, I don't think it's like Tibetan. You know what I mean? Anyway. I'm sure Chad can find a source from pre-2023 if they insist is a legitimate phrase. I don't think there's anyone in the fucking chat. I don't think there's anyone in the chat that's like on board with this. There's like a couple people that read the fucking Vice article and wanted to be the smarmy, annoying, uh, you know, uh, actually I got you when you were wrong, Andes. And they do that all the time. And I'm, I'm, you know, this isn't the fucking Russia will never invade Ukraine, Hassan. Okay. This is a different Hassan, which is why I'm doing my due diligence and I'm trying to find it. I genuinely am trying to find it. You know what I mean? Especially because the very same people who never let me uh, let that go are usually the people that will defend this. Okay. Interesting. The ceremony took them, shook them. <laughs> Tibetan say the Dalai Lama suck my tongue viral video is being misinterpreted. Yeah, okay, bro. It came up immediately on Google for me. No. Oh, fuck you. Try Googling the top of the hour ad break. God damn it. God damn it. I was looking for a good ass segue. I saw like 11 fucking debates in the chat that I didn't read on purpose. Fuck. You fucking asshole. God fucking damn it. At the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break, okay? If you no longer want to see those fucking ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription a month. Use it on your favorite broadcaster. Hopefully, that is me. Holy hell. Holy moly. Ay, ay, ay. You can also get gifted a sub. Here's the three minute ad break now. <laughs> Sync break. Sync break said, Brother, I have met the Dalai Lama and I did not think he was a pedo. Goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Good one. Uh, Stelexine, thank you for the five gifted subs. Mama, 2210, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Anyway, listen, 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 listen. I know that, no, 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 no. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know the sticking the tongue out is like a thing that uh, they do in Tibet. I know that. I covered that the first day. Okay, I covered that the day this happened. I literally, if you watch, didn't I do a video on this? Is this on my, is the Dalai Lama on my fucking, yeah, oh, here it is. The Dalai Lama did what? Trigger warning. Okay, pedophilia, we're going to be talking about the Dalai Yeah, I wonder why this video didn't get fucking monetized. Holy shit. Like, come on, guys. 
started off with fucking trigger warning pedophilia, dude. Holy trigger fuck. warning pedophilia. We're <laughs> anyway. But yes, I covered that. This is a this the the sticking your tongue out is a normal fucking. I mean, it's a it's a unique but common Tibetan greeting. Okay. Eat my tongue before 2023. Before 2023, nothing. Two hours ago. Nothing? Really? Nothing? Where did they come up with this? There ha this has to be real though, right? Like the eat my tongue thing has to be real. Like I'm sure they didn't just make it up. You know what I mean? Like there's no fucking way. Chat GPT already said it doesn't exist. But no, this is the Tibetan meaning of eat my tongue. This is a new article uh, that is literally that is a new article that they uh, that went in Tibet seven years in Tibet Tibetan king okay yeah this is a this is an old article that doesn't feature eat my tongue but it's being cross referenced no why would the fucking Dalai Lama chat this is an old article about a normal Tibetan custom that they're trying to literally add on uh, to the Dalai Lama, or at least like it just says Dalai Lama in it, but this article doesn't say that it is a eat my tongue is something that people say. It's just the same thing that we covered already, which is that it is a Tibetan custom. It doesn't say eat my tongue uh, anywhere in this article. ChatGPT told me Che La Sa is a Tibetan phrase that translates to eat your own flesh. It is a strong expression of self-reproach or self-punishment that is used to express extreme regret or remorse for something that one has done wrong. Wait, really? It no, no shot. Oh. We can't even find a single fucking thing. ChatGPT is lying. ChatGPT lies all the time. Why are people so eager to defend this? You make up your mind about why Vice and uh, Radio Free Tibet and Voice of Tibet feel the need to say that uh, and, and defend it. And then also make up your mind about why Ukrainian flag and the bio uh, accounts are also promoting it. Anyway. I already, we already covered it. I already said the stick your tongue out of Tibetans uh, from 2010 is showing the old custom. I never, I never said that sticking your tongue out was, was not a custom. The suck my tongue is not a custom. And I'm not going to fucking act like the Dalai Lama who is a very Western-focused leader, is completely fucking oblivious to, uh, you know, or, or it doesn't have full knowledge over the, the English language, full command over the English language. Okay? That is weird. I don't know why people keep bringing the, the stupid fucking, uh, you know, look at this old Tibetan custom bullshit 
okay, to the table. Nobody is arguing against that. You know, you know. What? I may not be able to take you from the Vava to see.